Hi guys, uh, for this past two to three weeks I've been conducting an external uh, penetration test uh, for uh, a client and the thing is that it was a black box penetration test and we had no resources to get to the site and we couldn't do any things over the Wi-Fi or anything like that because the client doesn't use any Wi-Fi and our only way to get in was basically to try to utilize social engineering either uh, via email or soliciting for logins and passwords via the phone for the VPN but that that all was pretty much uh, complicated for us and what I just I decided to do was to uh, to get a, a USB drive and try to uh, flash its firmware and load it on a, uh, a couple of payloads so that I could uh, get a, a shell spawn back to us in case the user internally was to, to, to uh, plug it into their, their computer. But uh, this wasn't easy as I thought and as, as time went on I realized that things got quite harder and uh, that's that brought me here to uh, soldierx.com. I, I posted this, this thread uh, for, uh, for help on how I could uh, bypass the corporate proxy because I realized that uh, I was able to uh, send my payload to uh, the user he, via the flash drive and once the user put the flash drive in the payload started but the only problem I had was payloads would never get get to me they could never reach to me because probably there was a, a proxy in the middle and I had to uh, figure out a way either how I could get the credentials of that proxy server and, and had called them in into uh, my payload on the flash drive uh, which was pretty much way complicated than I could ever think. I went to uh, soldierx.com and I posted this this thread and uh, I give a, a big shout out to uh, uh, Rat who helped me try to uh, figure out what this uh, what the uh, the different alternatives could be in the uh, and I think in his last post it got it got me thinking about a few ideas and I thought that after solving it I thought that I could share with you guys in case there's anyone who ever faces the same challenge they can pretty much use the same alternative so basically what I did in, in my original payload I had a gcard uh, you can get gcard from github I had this gcard implant set to run uh, once uh, the user inserts a flash drive into their computer and the good thing with GCAD I was able to get a shell spawned back to me but by the time I even go to access it it, were, it had already dropped off because um, it, it has some um, persistence issues I would love to see there's some persistence modules that are added to it it could be really really great very great tool because it did quite the job for me but then I couldn't get any shell spawn back to me because all of them by the time I reached there they had already dropped off or if you make a couple of few commands they they still hang and then they drop off and you don't get any response whatsoever but then uh, the other uh, uh, alternative that I used was uh, just to uh, use uh, a reverse shell from a deployed payload to, uh, to uh, go through port 443 because I knew that port 443 would likely be allowed to get uh, would likely to be uh, allowed to get out of the network but just because they were u using that proxy I needed my payload to be authenticated via via the proxy server, uh, which was quite a problem. Now let me show you the scenario of how the whole thing was. The, it, the user environment pretty much narrows down to something like this. Not exactly, but it explains the, the whole idea, whereby you have the uh, the internal users, and then uh, <coughs> right here where we have the parent, that's that's where we have a proxy. We can call this a squid proxy. And then it goes through the firewall and then the internet. And this is the only way they can access the internet. So if a user, like right here it decides to plug in my infected uh, flash drive into their computer I'll get a payload uh, a shell will be spawned back to to our the script proxy server and right here the script proxy server is, is going to to look the port it's trying to access if, if it has access on that port and if it's if it doesn't have any access it's gonna drop it so I wouldn't uh, me on the other side <coughs> I wouldn't be able to access any response from my payload that has been staged to via the, the flash drive. So the most interesting thing that I realized that I had not yet realized, I knew about it, but uh, for some reason I it couldn't it to my notice. It was the uh, reverse TCP all ports. When I tried to do the reverse TCP all ports, uh, this this module what it does it 
it goes all the way from from one to uh, six five five three five that's the, the the whole port range and tries to uh, access the firewall to see all posts that are allowed to 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 uh, to connect to the internet and when i used uh this payload i i actually was able to get two shells spawned back to me via port uh, port 13,000 and uh, 14,000 and uh, making a search in google i realized that these are uh, Casper sky update ports which was pretty much cool and uh, nevertheless the couple of weeks of headache uh, when i once i got back those two two shells spawned back to me i was like wow this 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 was really easy to do i, I couldn't why well, wouldn't i have thought about this for quite a long time ago but uh, it proves to me that uh, in case you're uh, you are carrying out a penetration test or uh, attacked a, uh, attack on a corporate infrastructure, in most cases they're going to be using a proxy firewall, uh, a proxy uh, setup so that they can limit internet users for, for their internal users and things like the firewall also in place will try to limit uh, the number of ports that it, you, the, the, the port range that you try to spawn out to so the best thing to do is to to in case you to use a reverse port in a corporate environment the best thing to do is to uh, use a reverse uh, TCP or port or a reverse, TCP, a reverse UDP or port it will give you all the results that you need if you find this helpful I give a big shout out to our soldierx.com those guys are great you in case you're stranded in anything that you're doing you can just go over there to their forum just post a thread and you get help immediately